Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry, and today on Larry's Geeky World is a new type of video. This is last month's haul. This is pretty much majority of this stuff is what I got back in April. Here now being May 1st, as of the date of recording. This is everything I have gotten mostly in April. Some may have been in March. This stuff I haven't been able to get to to review. I want to say the SPD A Squad ones were definitely in March. But other ones, majority of what you're going to see today is stuff I have just recently gotten in either this past two or three weeks uh, right before the recording of this video. Two of which I just got today. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with that. This isn't even everything on the table currently. There will be more. But, obviously, as you can see, there are figures already out because I am in the middle of doing reviews for both Finster and iGuy. Uh, iGuy should be the next one. I'm in the middle of just beginning to edit that one together. And then Finster after that. So, look forward to those videos when they are coming in the next coming weeks or so but as you can see I got the four remaining a squad figures pink I can tell from the package is missing or not missing but does have the wrong helmet I do need to contact Hasbro about getting the right helmet for her so it should be correct but everyone else just by looking in the packaging looks fine uh, the two-pack Catherines finally came in after waiting forever. Actually, I think they showed up at my local Game Stops prior to me actually getting it from Pulse. The Astronomer Eclipter two-pack definitely got at the beginning of this month or beginning of April last month, about maybe three weeks or so ago. And of course, we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or the Power Rangers Cross Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the Boom Studio comic figures. And I actually had two of these in my pile of loot on Big Bad Toy Store for about a little over two months. And I was getting impatient waiting for, you know, the Leo Donnie two-pack, because I already had the Wrath Tommy two-pack and the Mikey April Neo 2 pack already in my pile of loot for over two months and like I got impatient I went ahead and had it shipped this was taking forever and I noticed it popped up in stock on Pulse so I immediately got that and as soon as Shredder popped up I did the same thing because he was also my pile he was also in my pre-orders and up canceling my big bad toy store pre-orders for those two and went directly through Pulse to get those in immediately and of course and then Jetty just came in this past weekend, uh, right before the last full weekend, I should say, because I'm recording this technically very early Sunday morning on the 1st of May. But Pink and White came in the same day, shipped from two different areas uh, for my pre-orders. Still waiting to see if Black and Blue Ninja comes in stock at some point because I wasn't able to pre-order those. I missed out on that. I do have the remaining three on pre-order. And today, or actually I should say yesterday, on April 30th, I picked these two up. The In Space, oh, sorry, I guy. In Space Blue Ranger with Galaxy Glider Deluxe Pack. And I can already tell you, his paint on his helmet's way better than the other two-pack release with him. What did he come with? Who? Oh, Psycho Silver. That's right. He could, the original release, because we didn't get a single figure release. This is technically the only single figure release, but he has his Galaxy Glider. But he comes with all the same accessories, as you can tell from the box. And, of course, Piranha's head, so I canceled those off of my Hasbro Pulse pre-orders as well and as you can barely see in the corner here 
saw this at my GameStop because I end up not pre-ordering it off of Pulse. The Lord Zed helmet. I'm getting stuff all over my new desk. My new tabletop here. I'll have to wipe that clean again. But yeah, I've had, got this a few, about two, three weeks ago. Went into a GameStop one weekend when we were going to, right before we went grocery shopping. Saw it. Said I'm going to get this. I also saw the cell shaded Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger figure and I said no. I actually had her pre-ordered. I went and immediately canceled her because I am not getting that. It is horrendous. It is hideous looking. I will not be picking that up. Please Hasbro, do not continue on the cell shaded route. They is not worth it. We do not want it. We have not asked for it. No thank you. So yeah, I can't wait to open this and get this out and figure out how I'm going to display this. But that's all of the Power Rangers that I've gotten, not including the ones I already have reviewed. But I also have gotten some Ultimates in, starting with... These all came in first, for the ones um, I'll show you next, but I got the main four turtles. From my from Super Seven, for my pre-order of the party wagon, which isn't due out to way later in the year, but since we already knew we we're gonna get the turtles first, so obviously we got our. Let me just unsleeve them right now. We got our Michelangelo. We got our Donatello. I do love these boxes. We got our Leonardo. And my favorite as a child, Raphael. And you cannot see that. I will have to adjust this now so you can see this. There we go. Move that out of the way. But as I said, Roth, Raph, I can't even talk today, has always been my favorite Ninja Turtle. So he was always my favorite figure growing up as a kid I don't know something about size I don't know I was like I thought they were pretty neat weapons of course Leo was my I want to say Leo was my brother's favorite he can correct me it was either Leo or Donnie was his favorite and uh the only turtles I have to compare these with when I do do the reviews on these I mean there have been a, a tons of reviews for these guys already but you know I want to you know, give my opinion on them sir maybe people want to hear my opinion and do cause I appreciate it if you like to hear my opinion but I mean I love my wave 3 of Thundercats what two figures I got from wave 1 and the big bad Toy Story exclusive Glow in the Dark Mumra which I have not reviewed that or the Jackalman or the normal Mumra but I do have things coming in from Big Bad Toy Store soon and Wave 11 of Power Rangers Lightning Collection is on its way so we got that so we're going to sleeve these guys back up real quick get these out of the way oh well, maybe not out of the way just so we can show the next last bit that I just uh, received a couple weeks ago and that is the fi my wave 4 of Thundercats Ultimates and as you can see it's a snowman right here oh it and this guy is a chunky beast and I'm going to do a comparison I don't think anyone's ever compared the boxes from the turtles to the Thundercats but as you can see, the turtle boxes are taller. <laughs> I guess it's because of all the extra accessories, because the turtles do actually have a bit more accessories. You got Pumra. Super excited. See my monitor just went blue in the background there. Reflecting off of there. But yeah, there's Pumra. And I really can't wait to get wave two finally in a quick on sleep about that monkey in which will complete the main mutants 
and I can't wait for that. And of course, our last Thundercat or hero figure in that wave, my brother's favorite. He had the original toy as a kid, Linkso. And we'll go more in depth on these guys when I do their individual reviews later on. So, you know, typically I was trying to do a video every week for a review. I want to try to get back into that. Uh, like I said, I have two already filmed. I would love to try to do more than two, one, uh, more than one video. I'd like to try maybe do to at least, maybe or at the most, two videos a week. So we'll see how well that works because this is getting to our, you know, getting to getting close to summer, which is that my job is getting close to our busy season. But I wanted to do a quick video on showcasing what I did get this last month, and I want to kind of make this. A video I'll do if because I have all this content coming in, which means I have all more than enough stuff to film <laughs> and review. But I would like to know in the comments for SPD A Squad, you want me to just do a full set review and include Blue SPD A Squad because he was with the two pack, or do you want me to do each figure individually? Because that's the one because I plan on probably doing that with the turtles. Doing a big review like I did with the Metallics, and that seemed to get a lot more views uh, out of some of my other ones. Um, also, one thing I picked up at the movie theater when the Batman came out. I want to show that off. So that's technically something. And of course, I don't know how well the light's going to show this up. The popcorn bucket. Yes, I collect these two. If I can get a hold of them, turn that around. Nice red in there. I, I like these metal ones a lot better than the plastic ones. The tens, I, I love these. But yeah, I collect all kinds of weird stuff. But mostly, like I said before in videos, it's been mostly lightning collection. But I'm really getting into Thundercats, Ultimates, and those. I might get for turtles. I may get an April O'Neil. I might also get a Splinter if they're still in stock at some point. Only because with the turtle van, it does fit six. As a villains, I don't think I want to get into that boat because you know that's a lot. I mean that is a whole whole lot. And I'm already starting to run out of room. So, uh, I mean, I also have some Gundam Universe stuff. Uh, if you all want me to do a review, I know people have seen it in the video background, a couple videos. If you want to see me do a review, even though I already did one on the standard Pudgy Pig, if you want to see me do a review on the Hasbro Pulse version, let me know in the comments. If I get, let's say, let's, let's do a like goal. If I get... You know, 200 likes, I'll do a review on the Mighty Morphin Pudgy Pig Hasbro Pulse exclusive in the lunchbox, because I believe this is still in stock on Pulse, and I'm already going to tell you, it's going to be the exact same figure, just extra pieces, and the box is really cool, uh, it's nice, nice little premium box we'll go if you want me to do a review on that we'll go more in depth on that in that review but you know like I said we get 200 likes on this video I'll do a review on that version of Pudgy Pig and you know I don't have the main version of regular version of Pudgy Pig that was uh, borrowed by my from my brother's collection because he also collects lightning collection he's only collecting Mighty Morphin and none of the roleplay stuff. So I'm getting all the helmets. I have yet to pre-order the Power Sword yet. I do have the uh, Legacy Collection. I have all the Legacy Collection weapons, except for any con exclusive ones that were like gold-plated Dragon Dagger or the black and gold Saba. I do not have those. I'm not lucky enough to get to go to those type of conventions. Those are just, you know, I can't get the time off for that for my work, so. But like I said, 200 likes, I'll do a review on that. Um, let me know in the comments about the SPD A Squad. If you wanted me to do a full team review 
on those opposed to individual videos. And, uh, also, you know what? Let me know in the, in the in the comments if you would rather me do the individual turtle figures or a full review on all four set. Well, I guess three, two packs and one figure set. Uh, yeah, so you just let me know. And um, until next time, man. Peace. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you will be informed when I have more videos. Until next time, peace. Take care of yourselves.